In this lesson, we're going to look at for loops. For loops are different from while loops in the sense that they run for a predetermined number of times, although they too can have conditional terminals to stop them. For loops allow programmers to use auto indexing, a feature that allows us to create and examine arrays quickly. You'll learn more about this feature later on. We'll take a look at for loops by making a basic VI, which will run a predetermined number of times specified by the user. Each time through the loop, it will display the loop iteration and wait 500 milliseconds. On our block diagram, we will place a for loop from our structure's subpalette or from the quick drop menu. Notice how, like the while loop, we can drag and resize the for loop. Any code within the for loop will be reiterated. You will notice that the for loop has two boxes just like the while loop. The first one, the iteration terminal, serves the same purpose. It tells us which iteration the loop is on, starting at zero. We will create a numeric indicator here to display the loop iteration. The other terminal is the count terminal. It determines the number of times the for loop will run, starting at one. We will wire a numeric control here. We will also place a wait function inside our for loop and wire a 500 millisecond constant to it. Now if we enter a value into our count terminal control, we will see that our loop iteration will be one less than the value of that control when it completes. This is in fact the correct behavior because the loop iteration starts at zero and the count terminal starts at one. In this lesson we learned about for loops. We learned that for loops differ from while loops in that they run for a predetermined number of times based on the value wired to their count terminal. 